Hey guys, what is up? This is Demon Achilles here, and I am going to show you the best mid champions of 2013. And this is going to be season 3. So let's get started and go to champions. And let me open it up here, the page that is showing me. And it looks like the first champion is actually surprising to me. It's Elise. So, Elise is an extremely powerful champion that can be a great pick if you can use her properly. There's nothing more terrifying than a fed Elise. The key to using her is probably uh, to use her venom to poke and keep harassing the enemy, then collapsing on them to pick up the kills in her spider form. Um, yeah, uh, I think she's really good too, because um, in her spider form, None of her abilities cost anything, except uh, they have cooldowns, so no mana or anything like that. And yeah, I prefer using Elise's regular form and then switching to a uh, spider form because of that E to finish um, the champion uh, off. And yeah, Elise is kind of like an AP assassin because of that E, which just tears him up that EQ combo and yeah and that's her skin if you wanted to see and she is ability power based um, I never seen AD yet might be a so these are her abilities right here uh, you could look them through so this is what I'm talking about the big E or yeah the repel and the cocoons really good for capturing people and here's some tips you could play using her and again Elise is very good so getting on to our next champion our next champion is actually gonna be Evelyn and Evelyn's a very strong pick because uh, she could use her stealth to get in ideal positions and absolutely wreck a team with her ultimate because she gets a shield and she slows everyone and it does a bunch of damage if you're building AP and yeah so the enemy team will have to buy a bunch of um sight wards well yeah sight wards so they could see you well the pink sight wards I guess yeah and she's very strong at ganking so you could use her as a jungler um pick her in the, the ideal matchups as to not to get countered um gank a bunch of other lanes cause her ganks are amazing again uh, she's stealthy, so I don't think regular sight would see her in stealth mode. And yeah, she's really good. Her ultimate uh, just tears down and kills the squishies. And yeah, so basically she is second. Oh, these are not in any order. These are just uh, top five. Well, not top five, but top champions just of today. So the next champion is actually Karthus. So, Karthus is a great champion league because he has insane amount of damage and an area effect ultimate that can completely change the course of a game. Not only uh, he can change skirmishes anywhere, but just by pressing R, uh, he could actually change the whole game. Um, he has an ability that allows him to farm very, very easily, and his ultimate can be... Uh, used even after death and nothing could interrupt it so after death and he could keep using abilities which is great um if you just keep farming and get like 10 cs a minute the farm is what helps you with Karthus using him do not uh r to ks or whatever i mean if you want to secure a kill if your teammates telling you then do it don't be like a dick and ks with an r alt if you like, if your um team really needs the alt, just use it, but do not use it to KS, and also don't use it in an open area because your alt can be interrupted. So be in a hidden area while using Karthus's alt. And our next champion is actually gonna be Ari. So let's get to Ari. Right there. So Ari's very powerful champion that could actually turn tides of the game her ability is really good for ganking 
lanes, and she has a very amazing kit. Um, the key to Ari is push your lane very quickly and then gank other lanes. These kills from ganking is going to help you a lot because your Q can actually push lanes, so your lane's actually pushing, so you have nothing else to do other than rates, I guess. After you're done with all of that, you could just gank, and her ultimate provides very good assistance for ganking. And the key to Ari is just keep farming and ganking, and mastering this skill will actually help you carry the game. So, yeah. These are her skins and stuff like that. And, yeah, so, hmm, our next champion is actually going to be... Let's see this, Oriana. And I personally don't know how to use her well, but she is very good late game for even especially in lower elos because she is very uh, good to farm with. Her passive makes last hitting very easy, and last hitting is the key to actually succeeding in a game. I mean, if you might disagree, but that's my opinion and most people's opinion that even if you're losing a game, just keep farming and that... Even that one minion losing that 22 gold can actually be, like, the difference between you getting a ward that really can help you in the outcome, or you not getting a ward. So, the key to Oriana is to power farm and gank other lanes as well. Pay attention to the map, and counter ganking is important, but the only gank if you are sure you will get a kill, so only gank that way. Because you never want to sacrifice farm with Oriana for an unsuccessful gank. And yeah. So basically con uh, constantly farm. Roam when kills are guaranteed. And use your shield to shield yourself. And shield an era ally. I'm sorry. <laughs> My words are getting slurred up. And our next champion of the day is going to be Anivia. So, Anivia does great damage. These are all her skins. And I use Anivia, and she's actually really good. Her egg, or her passive, is amazing. Because once someone tower dives you, and you become an egg, they could either, like, die if you had hit them before you went into the egg. And, yeah, so you could get easy kills by that. Anivia has great damage. Uh, she has very good crowd control. The key to Anivia is uh, the ability to stall out games. It's almost impossible to push against Anivia with her ult and her extremely high damage. Her wall is very good because it could stop, like, it could turn a whole game around just using a wall to stop enemies from running away and helping your team catch enemies. Um, be careful until you hit 6 because people could... Uh, have early aggression on you and pop that um, egg very fast and try to farm as much as possible. And our next champion here is actually, even though after a kind of sad nerf, is Lux. And obviously Lux would be on this list. And yeah, so these are all on a website called pastajelly.helppages.com. And these are actually very accurate, I suppose. And I'll leave the link in the description. So yeah, Lux is next. Lux is a great champion and can really carry the game if you use her abilities effectively. She has a lot of skill shots, which can be tricky, but I mean, if you're good at skill shots and you know what you're doing, it's worth it. So if you land a um, snare, uh, your team basically has a free kill if they jump in on that. And you have a lot of burst damage with your E and R. So you could set up a kill for someone by snaring. And you could just take a kill for yourself. Even if you kill steal, if your team isn't mad and they were happy, you just getting fed and getting an early medgize when you are fed, it's basically GG. So yeah, that's Lux. And now our next champion, which I haven't seen a lot, but I guess he's coming back is Mordekaiser, so Mordekaiser is, where is he? I can't see today. There's Mord, right? So like Karthus, Mord is a very, very good farmer, and the truth is that champions that farm well are extremely good late game, So and they're good to win games with. 
So Mordekaiser, he could farm really good with his Q and his E, and it's very good. When you have great CS advantage, your trades are more um, effective, and it's a lot easier to win lane when you could push really hard and clear waves. So all you do is basically push to a lane, and when it's to the enemy tower, just go farm weights or something, and you have a really big CS advantage. If you are losing lane badly, just try to alt and gain back the health, even if uh, you have to balance it. And try to CS and the enemy with your E to win the lane. And yeah, that's basically more. Just try to win lane by CSing and gank. Uh, these are um, all related to winning the lane and CSing and ganking these champions, which is actually very effective nowadays. Again, another good lane pusher, and who is next is Twisted Fate. The thing that Twisted Fate excels at better than other champions in League of Legends is ability to gank other lanes, and that's true because his ultimate is crazy good, and you win games very, very easily. I think he's one of the best, always going to be the one of the best mid champions ever. His ultimate makes, makes really uh, difficult to play aggressive because when he alts he could just have his um stun card up and stun you and basically his team gets a free kill um you are always in constant fear of getting ganked tf also has the ability to back to backdoor which is like serious like uh bonus to tf's kit because say you have an open inhib while well, they have an open inhib inhib the enemy TF could just alt and finish the game if the nexus is like open. And yeah, so always gank bot lane if it's pushed because bot lane, you have to get the carry fed. And avoid using your alt to get back to lane because, you know, just saving a turret and getting a kill. I mean saving a turret, I know where you're coming from, but, you know, you have to just save the ultimate for a better opportunity. And so now our next, surprisingly, well not that surprisingly, our next champion is actually going to be Katarina. So where's Katarina? Right here. Katarina is a great champion because uh, she has ability power to carry games. If she is able to chain her abilities, she is really powerful at ganking and picking off targets that are low. However, if you go in at the wrong time, you can easily get killed. This makes it really important to position properly and go in during the optimal moment. Which, this is actually really true. So going in the optimal moment, when you know what's right is the best. Wait for the right moment to go in. Use your dive, move to dodge, and yeah, use your dive uh, to move and dodge abilities and win engagements. Always have wards in your inventory to escape s sticky situations because... Um, Katarina can shun Po towards. And yeah, she's really great assassin melee. And she is recommended. Our next champion, who's a late game champion, and he has a book in his hand, is Ryze. So, this is Ryze. The great thing about Ryze is his massive damage and also his tankiness. Ryze is one of the champions that are very tanky late game. Ryze can basically pump out a massive amount of damage because of his passive. Each time he uses an ability, it's uh, cooldown by one. So he basically can spam his QWER very fast and get a bunch of kills. His snare makes his lane easy to gank because his snare is not a skill shot, which is very good. And it allows to follow up with a jungler and pick up very squishy champions if you want. And you could last hit at tower, and but you might uh, lose a lot of power within him because his abilities are very mana dependent. Try to snare to set up kills with your jungler, and be able to kite and cast your abilities at the same time, which is obviously uh, one good thing. And finally, I guess. Um, the last champion of today is Zyra. So here's Zyra. And all you basically have to do is, the only way to describe Zyra is 
and an area of effect crowd control machine. She is able to lock down targets and really sway the fate of team fights. Zara can also be played as support, which is true. Her ultimate can just snap, like, snap the enemy uh, champions up and set up kills. Zyra and Malphite together work as brother and sister because their alts are amazing and it could set up basically the whole game. And farm as much as you possibly can and try to land your snare into your combos or wombo combos on squishy champions. And here are some out of favor mids, which I'm not going to go in depth, but you could tell. Zillion, Zareth, Ziggs, Cannon, Fizz, Brand, LeBlanc, and Vagar are some other good mids. And we had a vote. Well, the website had a vote to see who their favorite mid champions are. And I said all of these already, but here are the main ones. Anivia, Twisted Fate, Mordekaiser, Oriana, and Karthus. So again, go on the website. I'll post it in the description. And again, vote for your favorite mid because this uh, website's updated every month. So this is of today, which is June. So of June, these are the main used champions. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys later on some new videos.